The streets in Utah are becoming more colorful. We're not talking about the flowers blooming. We are talking about the new murals popping up on buildings. April Baker is live for us this morning. Introduce, introduce us to the two best friends who are helping propel the growth of this art form. Good morning, April. Good morning, Carrie and John. They go by Smock and Roll, and they just created this beautiful mural that you see over my shoulder, this bright lily pad display. This is on Southwest Temple, so it's adding a sense of community and art to South Salt Lake. We're not particularly into rock and roll, but it- For yourself. I said we. <laughs> We as a unit are not particularly into rock and roll. <laughs> they may not be into rock and roll, but best friends <laughs> Allie Van Cleek and Caroline Kane go by Smock and Roll, the name of their mural painting business. We have like a really earthy side, and then we have a really, really bold side. Over the last three years, Smock and Roll has created massive folklore-inspired motifs for a growing number of residential and commercial spaces. It's just been like exponential growth growth each year, even, you know, with the pandemic and everything, people still want art. And Beyond their business's bottom line, Allie and Caroline say more cities have embraced this free form of public art through mural-centric festivals that attract artists from around the globe. The duo recently creating this larger-than-life lily pad scene for South Salt Lake's Mural Fest earlier this month. They kind of function as like an outdoor art gallery, and art is something that anyone can talk to. Whether you like the piece of art or not, it does spark some kind of thought in you. Allie and Caroline, tell me it takes about one to two weeks to create something like you're seeing behind me. And they're gearing up right now for another mural festival that's happening in Midvale next month.